time to unveil my Build Off Creator Edition. Hey guys, Rich here from the RCNetwork.com, and today is the reveal. And there it is. That is my HPI build off. This is the creator edition of the RS4 Sport 3. And I can't say enough about how fun this project was. Now, of course, if you guys don't know about the build off, Hemi Storm, Christograph was in this, as well as Greg Vogel from RC Driver, Mark Houlihan from Mustang Monthly, and Photo Guy RC, Kyle St. Peter. The build-off spanned over four weeks, with this being the final episode, the reveal, and the running video. Now, being in Southern California, I've had some adverse weather conditions, yes, even in Southern California, and it's almost rained every day since my third video, and painting this thing was quite a challenge, uh, mostly with the cold weather and the moisture that was in the air. Now, running this thing is gonna be even more difficult because I have rain over the next six days here in Southern California, can't quite get this thing out and run this thing where I want to run it. All right, so first question, why the hell did I choose a Toyota Celica, especially in early 2000s, being that they were front-wheel drive only, they weren't available in all-wheel drive, which the RS4 Sport 3 is an all-wheel drive platform, so I'm able to get away with it because we're all going to use our imaginations and think that Ivan Stewart would have had an all-wheel drive Celica, just the same that maybe Ken Block has an all-wheel drive 65 Mustang. Now, contrary to popular belief, you cannot find a Toyota Celica for $1,200 on Craigslist because I tried. I'm not sure how uh, a $1,200 Craigslist Toyota Celica would fit into that uh, line of cars. First, I found a Librarian's one for $2,200. I found another one for $2,000 in that sporty red color. And I found a GTS TRD version for $4,700. But Chris, I was able to find you an 86 Porsche 944 for $1,600 up in North Hollywood. Now, a few years back after, of course, selecting a Toyota over there, I remembered I had this old HPI I think this was off like a 112 scale little Baja truck. They released this one with the Ivan Stewart paint scheme and it just dawned on me one day, I got a Toyota, I might as well make something that kind of looks like the part or maybe something that Ivan Stewart may have driven in the modern 2000 year era. So I went to my paint bin and grabbed a few Pactor paints that kind of mimicked the scheme that Ivan Stewart ran with bright red, competition orange, bright yellow, sprint white, and of course I smoked the windows here with the Tamiya PS31. Now, as far as decals, or as others would call them, stickers. I know other people hang everything together with uh, stickers, Rich Morgan. I went to my buddy over at Temp RC. Jade was able to make up some pretty cool replica graphics and put them on like a transfer paper. So not technically decals or stickers. Stickers, I hate stickers. Uh, but they do transfer on with a matte finish and you don't see any of that clear backing you would see on a traditional sticker. So I went with a core logo. Of course, the Toyota's right here. I threw on American flag just to give it some nostalgia and give it some Americanism right there. The 01 rally number right there, which Ivan Stewart was famous for, the number one truck. And of course, some of his other ones like Our Minds Are Always Racing and the BF Goodrich appear in the front quarter. For the rear of the car, I did add a spoiler on here, but I didn't go with one of those tacky kind of 911 looking risers. I just went ahead and stuck it straight down to the little risers that are built in to the actual mold of the car. And then I went ahead and added one of these cool little RC rally decals that's available from SoCal Rally Runners. These are cool little sticker packs that they offer. And I'll try and leave a link to both SoCal Rally Runners and also Temp RC down in the video description. The wheels and tires worked out quite great with these nice bronze wheels from HPI. And then I just put on a kind of standard rally block style tire. It has kind of like an altering grip. It'll be fun for either tarmac or getting onto some dirt and having some fun doing a couple of low jumps. 
Now, one thing that I've given the others some pretty good loads of crap about. All I know is that he's been talking tons of shit about uh, body posts and body clips. Oh no, God! Was the body post. Yes, you'll notice that there's no body post here on my front hood or even on my back window. Decided to use some stealth magnetized body mounts. And these things went on pretty easily just with some super glue to the body. And they just attach straight to the existing body mounts here on the RS4 Sport 3 Creator Edition. Putting on the body is quite easy. You just pretty much center it up and the magnets do the work, centers it up every time and holds on pretty well. Speaking of the chassis, uh, this is a look of the inside. Not much has changed, but in honor of Chris, I went ahead and added some decals here for the inside with the Hobby Wing system, HPI racing, and of course, some good old RC Network decals. Well guys, that is my final episode of the build off from HPI. Now it's been a lot of fun doing this and I will have some running footage of this out there very soon, as soon as it stops raining in Southern California. This is unlike SoCal to have rain day after day, but I guess we're due for it at some point. Well, I wanna thank Frank over at HPI for even including me in this build off. It's been a blast working with not only Frank, but also Chris, Kyle, Mark, Greg. It's been a blast kind of bantering back and forth with you guys and just seeing what we could all come up with with this very inexpensive RS4 Sport 3 Creator Edition. As always, please check the video description. I'll have links to everything I mentioned in this video down there so you can check it out for yourself. And like I always say, that's it for now, guys. Over and out. With off-road racing, the mystique of Baja is the unknown. You know, off-road racing is just races between ditches and turns, so the quicker we can get there, uh, you know, the faster we're going to add up a little bit of seconds over that boat.